two rounds. It's two rounds. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Where Are We Now? And today we're in Sydney at BeFit with trainer Sam. I want to start off with, thank you for having us here um, for welcome. our training session today. You're looking welcome. forward to what's ahead. Yep. I want to chat about where BeFit came to be, how it came to be, and a little bit of the history. Okay, so, so started, uh, we're in about a fifth year now. So we started a couple of years ago. We've been in our current location, is our third year. We had two years before that in a really small shoebox sized gym. Um, grew to kind of 200 members really quite quickly. Made our way down here to this bigger space and from there it's kind of just blown off. Who is BeFit for? To be for everyone. Yeah, it's for people that want to be challenged, it's people that uh, like the community vibe, but also work out to the future. Yeah. How do you guys program and what's your method behind the program? So we use like a linear structure in terms of our, um, our reps. Uh, we test every 11 weeks, so we work in 12 week blocks, but inside that 12 weeks, there's four week cycles. Um, testing at the beginning and the end of those blocks, um, all our key movements and metrics from that and data is stored. There's also a big conditioning test that we keep track of as well. Incredible, so like I said, all about the members' growth and progression of training, which is very important. What can we expect today in today's training session? So today, been a Wednesday, we deadlift on Wednesday, so you'll be doing some, um, some hinge work, some deads, there's also a little bit of push and pull in there for the upper body, and um, then you end with a bit of work on the bike here. Fantastic, I'm so excited. Let's get into it. Are you gonna train with us? We are, let's go. Awesome, let's do it. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, I'm out of beauty and love. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Right, you should be on the right, because the first few straight balls are up, draw the back, bang. Then sit back, sit back into it, and then you go. Right, then we're using those. Sit back and step towards. So, and I can show you too, but. Sam was just grinding me on a bit of technique there with my deadlift because I've had injury with my knees of late. I've been trying to work around them, hence compensating and using other areas of my body to get an exercise done. So hence the deadlift. He kind of uh, critiqued me on my form with that and slightly fixed it. So I'm going down in the weight rather than going up. So drop the ego and I'll show you here. So my hinge is amazing apparently. Um, but it's more of the angle with the knees that I need to be able to hit, sitting back into the seat position and then driving from there, making sure that I snap off at the same time with the knees and the hips. So hopefully from there I can rebuild the strength in order to use the quads in order to get my deadlift a lot better. So I started off with um, 20 kilo kettlebells and I can't go back so I have to stick with them for the four rounds because that's what my brain does to me. So really I probably would have been better going with the 16s like some of the other girls here are smarter than me apparently. So I'm like what 25 seconds down and my shoulders are absolutely killing me. It's a good movement for anybody. Lower back if you've got lower back issues. Um, it's really great to work on your posterior chain, but I would recommend going a little bit lighter than the 20s. Alright, last round. single leg kettlebell box step ups making sure that 
leg that's stepping up, the lead leg is doing all the work. You don't want to bounce or shorten the range of motion. Eight reps each side before moving on to the next exercise. Ooh. All right, this one's a cool one. I've actually not done this exercise before. So it really requires you to switch on your stabilizers of the core. Um, but we're going to be putting them um, top of our, or middle of our back on the ball, raising up into a bridge while single arm pressing with the dumbbell. So here we go. It's kind of like a full body exercise that requires those stabilizers, the switch on of the glutes, as well as the chest and the arms, eight reps each side. So you're constantly trying to keep your body, really clenching the fist helps. Awesome, you guys will work. Okay. Kind of actually does help. All right, so the next one is hand over hand sled pull with the rope. We've got some weight on there. And then we have to push the sled all the way back. And that completes one round. We've got four of them. Bike egg. What are we keeping this at? 150? So you should be sitting at around the 150 pace. I mean, you especially. Oh, hang on. <laughs> you that bike. Love it. You don't, want to, you don't want to start to get on that. It's actually dead. It's actually dead. Okay. I'll just keep pedaling. So we've got a 1k bike, uh, bike egg effort. They should be trying to get this done in under under two minutes. Around the 150 pace. I've told um, the guys to sit up. Jenna's actually sitting a bit lower than that. So she should finish in around a minute. 40 minute 45. From there, you do 20 devil press. Devil press is two dumbbells, so dumbbell burpee to do a snatch. Uh, you're going to do 20 reps. Challenging yourself, really, you generally do maybe four and a half kilos for those. It's two rounds, do so try those two rounds done as fast as you can. JL, that's a JL feature right there. Love it. Trying to keep your pace at 150. My normal, normal devil press. I go from 12 and a half to 15. Probably nothing too far over that. 20 reps. Still us. It feels like it goes forever. Two rounds. Two rounds. It was one. I thought it was only one round. No, I always go hard, but I prepared myself for the one, one round, but challenge accepted to the two, of course. Oh my god. How you get it done is all that matters. If you need to break that up in reps of five, by all means go ahead and do that. It's you versus you. For me, like this time around, I got them consistent pace the whole 20 both rounds. So pretty pumped about that. And the 1k on the bike leg was somewhat of a rest compared to the double presses. So all in all, an epic session, a combination of strength and high intensity conditioning, metabolic conditioning. Exactly what I need today, so awesome session be fit. That was one awesome session, thank you so much. A mixture of so much, um, so many different things. I definitely got a sweat on, as you can see, a huge challenge. Fixed some of my technique, which is amazing, so thank you for that. Tell us a little bit about the future of be fit. So at the moment we've got a lot going on. Um, we're slowly expanding. We've, um, we've got a second gym now already in Adelaide. Uh, third, I think in Melbourne very shortly on Chapel Street. Um, from there, uh, the Kinder Eyes Field, we see a couple more by the end of the year throughout probably Sydney and, and maybe the state. Um, but yeah, things are kind of uh, are, are on the grow, on the rise. And a huge testament to you, especially when you started off in a little space and the growth that you've had over the last couple of years. 
and also your popularity level. The coaches here are second to none. The knowledge you guys um, are able to push out to your clientele is amazing. And I think that's what makes BeFit unique as well as your programming and the growth that you have for your clients. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Our focus for us has always been Clients, like the first thing we've got to give us good clients. So we've always been about community. That's where we were lucky. We really grew that community side, the community aspect. These guys are all a bit like mates. They all catch up on the weekend. It helps them train, it helps them push each other. They all keep each other accountable. Yeah. Um, from there, you know, like we've always been, we tried to do the forefront of, of programming, of what we can offer our clients through the programming, through um, our knowledge, through our constant, like we're constantly learning new things, educating ourselves, and trying to educate our clients on the importance of what we're doing and why we're doing Absolutely, and it really does show, um, especially when you're in the session itself, you feel like Essentially, I've got you to all to myself, but yeah. you're really great and your coaches are really great at getting around to everybody to make them feel like they are a member within a community and they're getting that one-on-one -on -one experience from you and that coaching from you. And I think that's really special for you guys to, to have built into your member base. So thank you so much for having us I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Absolutely loved it. I'm definitely coming back. You're welcome back whenever you are. Awesome. Thank all you right, so cool. much. Thank you. Be on the lookout yeah. for the next episode of Where Are We Now?